Hello and welcome on this second video on introduction to statistics. On the previous video, we've uh, seen what what is statistics, uh, why do we use statistics. So now what we're going to see is a little bit more vocabulary on statistics. And we'll start with the data. Data is a set of measurements. So what can we measure? First, we can measure a character. So it could be uh, nominal, red, green, blue. It could be binary, male, female, agree, disagree, left-handed, right-handed. It could be ordinal. The difference between nominal and ordinal is that ordinal is ranked. So, you know, there is no ranking between male and female. There's no ranking between yes or no. There's no ranking between red, green, or blue. But if you want to see attitude to war, uh, there's a ranking between, you know, agree, neutral, and disagree. Because we start with you know, agreement and we go gradually to disagreement. So that's the first type of data we can measure. The second type we can measure is numeric. It could be discrete, so for example, the number of children. It could be continuous, like a distance, a time, a temperature. It could be an interval like Fahrenheit temperature, could be a ratio. So we have our two family, two families of data, character and numeric. Now let's see some more vocabulary for statistics. And actually more than vocabulary, concepts. So we'll start with the population. The population is the set of all units of interest, finite or infinite. For example, all students at MIT. So the population is really the thing you, you want to observe. You want to remember, uh, draw a conclusion on, and make decision on. But because you cannot count or measure every single unit of this population, you only going to get a sample. So the sample is a subset of the population actually observed. So in this example, the population is all students at MIT, but because you don't have the time to go ask every student at MIT what data he's holding, then you're going to do it on a sample of students in the room. A variable is the property or attribute of each unit, age or height, for example. So this is going back to the data here. So for every unit of the sample, we're going to observe a variable that's either a character or numeric. And then an observation is the values of all variables for an individual unit. So, you know, to summarize, you have, you know, the, the population A lot of them, right? And then you're only going to observe a subset. This is what you observe. And for every one, you're going to have variables, for example, age or height. 
and every all the data you have on this particular unit we'll call it an observation so a data set so the once you have collected everything it's called a data set and it's often organized as a matrix with rows corresponding to observation and columns to variables so you know if you think about it you're going to have you know uh, student one student two student three etc so it's in rows and then in columns you're going to have age height i don't know uh, agree yes or no and then the data set is going to be all the data that you have observed right and remember an observation is this right so So in the next video, we're going to continue on this concept and we're going to see some very important concepts of you know, the, dif the difference between accuracy, precision, and what's, what's actually a statistic. So see you in the next video.